Good morning, good morning, good morning. Mission 500 today brings you Butterfly. But first of all, oh my God, guys, you went crazy when I said that I was going to give you the handstand course inside the Mission 500 membership. So check out this, okay? So I don't know if I said these names, but I'm going to mention them anyway. So we've got Jenny Barton, Nora, Sarah Little, Claire Harding, Catherine Reed, Victoria Ashfield, Jenna Broom, Joan, Red Rochelle, Elisa. Gillian, Jasmine, Lauren, and Lauren, two Laurens. <laughs> Laurens is a very popular name. <laughs> well done, guys. Welcome aboard. And I wanted to give a shout out to Hazel Binney as well, who, uh, you know, was supporting us with some Facebook stars, which is fantastic. Olivia Weber as well. She joined on a membership. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you for sharing the love, guys. And I cannot wait to help you inside those memberships, which is, I can't wait to see your results and just following the lessons. So let's get stuck in with Butterfly today, okay? Butterfly is definitely what I call a foundation move for um, intermediate level, okay? This is going to, once you master this, it unlocks so many other moves, variations of Butterfly. You could do it with your chest on, tummy on, you can do it in different grips. You can do bent leg, straight leg, you can go into extended butterfly, you can do Russian butterfly. There are, oh, I sort of, my broadcast stopped then. I don't know why, I'm hoping I stay connected. Um, there are so many butterflies that you can do, right? And it's great to do them all. <laughs> um, however, what I want to speak to, speak to you about today, you know, I'm all about progression, how are you going to progress? How would we level you up from an intermediate butterfly to a higher intermediate extended butterfly, okay? How do you get that level up? And this is all going to come down to pushing yourself up and keeping your chest away from the pole. And that's what I want us to look at, okay? So I'm not saying any other butterfly is wrong, you know me, I always say that, you know, there's no, no pole move that is wrong, there's just better ways to do things if you're looking for progression, if you want to level up. Um, and there's gonna be times where you want to do the other butterflies, okay? It makes sense to do other butterflies. Um, but for progression purposes, and if you're following the program, I'll show you the way that we teach it, um, and the reason why, and how you can master it. And if you have not built up that pushing strength, then you are going to struggle. So if you follow our program anyway, you we will do uncover a lot of push and strength, not only off the pole, but like things with like pole handstands, reversing up the pole. We do a lot of prep for it anyway. So once you get into intermediate, you should feel comfortable about doing it. So whatever you do, if you are following our program, like I said yesterday, follow it the way it's laid out, okay? Don't like, um, you know, get distracted and go, oh, I'll try that Instagram move instead, okay? If you want progression, follow it, it's laid out, it's laid out for a particular reason, right? So get in that butterfly, pushing up support. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna see if I can put you, let me see, I'll make sure that I stay all in. View, put you here, let's see what happens. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay. Let me know if you're here. Not that I can read comments still. <laughs> I have to catch up afterwards. Okay, so. Okay. So you can do a bent leg, you can do a straight leg with that back leg, okay? Uh, I'll talk you through that in a bit as well. So. When you go into an in back, we need to move the hand down, inside hand down, and we need to turn to face the pole. I need to use this bottom arm. Am I back? Am I back? <laughs> I don't know why I bother. <laughs> oh, I've lost lots of you now. That's a shame. Uh, hopefully you can watch the replay. <laughs> I think I might change it up from tomorrow. I might um, schedule it so that I can I can give you feedback live as we go along. Anyway, um, so let's get back into butterfly, right? <laughs> so where was I? I was at alignment. Alignment is so important, okay? So getting your head in line with that pole and pushing up, okay? So if your butterfly is a bit wonky, let's go through this again. Hopefully I don't lose connection. Okay, so if you're like here, you need to make sure you're turning and facing the pole, okay? That's the most important thing. Once you've turned and faced the pole, we need that bottom arm should be slightly bent, not massively bent like this, uh, but we definitely, it shouldn't be straight, okay? Because what we need to do is push the butt up, okay? And this is where that pushing strength comes into play. So pushing down, it's going to stop the top hand 
want them to slide as much as well, okay? So we get that equal pressure between the pull and the push. If you uh, get up and you move the inside hand down, do not move that top hand down, okay? So many times I see people move their hand out the way of their legs. So they go up, they bring the hand down, uh, inside hand down, and then they move the top hand down as they turn to face the pole. Now you're in a really not great angle, okay? So you might be facing the pole, but can you see I'm not pushing my butt up, I'm pushing out. You do not want to be pushing out, okay? Don't push out. So, you, again, I'm not saying it's wrong, but if you're looking at doing another type of move afterwards, but for progression, that butt needs to go up. That pushing arm should be pushing down, not pushing your body out, okay? Super important. Now, your alignment should be that your arm is covering your ear. So you have a stacked position between your wrist on the pole and your hip, okay? This should be nice and straight. What you'll find is that your head will look like it's quite close to the pole. Don't think about taking your head away from the pole. So head will be quite close. You're getting the distance between your hips and the pole, little distance between the chest and the pole. We don't want the contact, okay? Because if you're working towards leveling up and going into extended butterfly, for example, um, you're gonna need that distance. So we need to make sure that we have that strength there, okay? Strength to be able to hold that so when you do transition, you're used to not having the body contact on the pole. Does that make sense? So how high and how low you should have your hands is going to, like, everyone's going to be slightly different with it, okay? Everybody's, like, different lengths, if you like. So when you, when you think about um, putting your hand down, if you just think about having a slight bend in your arm, so you don't want it at a 90 degree angle or anything, just a slight bend, just enough so that you can turn to push and then push that butt down. If you look at yourself and you can see that you're getting there, but your, your arm is still not, like you're, you're not straight here, um, and you're more here, then you wanna think about moving that bottom hand down just a little bit, okay? Do not move your top hand down, push that butt up, okay? So, top hand stays where it is, inside hand comes down, slight bend, Press the, the palm onto the pole. You're going to turn to face the pole. Turn, see that slight bend? Push the butt up. Now, can you see there's a straight line from my wrist to my butt? Okay? That's what you want to maintain. My head can actually touch the third pole. I don't care about that. Just don't, you don't want to be out here. Okay? Your head should be quite close anyway. So once you feel you've got this stacked position, then you can take your back leg off. And what you can do is take the foot down to the floor first. You can actually straighten the leg, squeeze that butt, then bend the leg. Okay? Knee back on, turn your hip, hand back up. So it's all about pushing that butt up and getting that lovely straight line from your wrist to your hip. If you've got that straight line from your wrist to your hip, jobs are good. You slightly, if your hand is too low, You'll, you'll start to arch through your back and you'll probably feel your chest on the pole. So if your hat happens, move that bottom up, arm, move that bottom hand up just a little bit so that you're able to push down on it, okay? To get your chest off. Does this make sense? Okay, I don't know who's here. Let me just see if I can get onto Facebook to see if you've got any questions whilst I'm live. Um, I don't think there's many of you here now because <laughs> internet's... A Funny thing. <laughs> okay, let's just uh, refresh. But I'm hoping this makes sense. So, belongs, you have got the straight line. It doesn't matter where your hand is placed. Just make sure your index finger's pointing down. That'll stabilize your wrist and stop you spinning. Um, but otherwise, pushing that butt up, okay? Your aim to probably, you're aiming to obviously get your knee in a, a right angle on the pole. Um, and if you push your butt up, that will happen. So what happens, when you've got your leg on the pole and you push your butt up, you're basically pushing your butt to be in line with that knee or your knees that will be both on the pole, so like a caterpillar position, right? If you really struggle with understanding that push, I recommend working on caterpillars. And then if you've got your caterpillars, a lot of people get their caterpillars, but work on one-handed caterpillars. That's where the strength comes involved because you're having to take one hand off. And if you can do it with one hand, then you know that you've, you're going to build that strength up. So I'm going to quickly show you that as well. Uh, I'm just going to see if I am I live. 
Ah, oh, Hazel, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Jennifer, how you doing, sweet? Um, right, let me see. I've got my grips run out. Lovely. Okay, so I wipe my hands with the cloth instead. So once you have got that and you want to work, if you can't get the stack, let's work on the stack. So working on that, on those caterpillars I was telling you about. So all that means is that we're going to push the butt up. We're not even focusing on the legs. So we're not taking a leg off, but we are going to push our butt up to be in line with our knees. And then we are going to take one hand off and it'll be the top hand. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I'm still in view, guys. Okay. So, yes. So I'm going to bring, I'm going to try to face the top. Hands are just above the head. I'm going to push out, push down, and can you see I'm stacked again? Wrist to walk, wrist is like in line with my hip, and my butt is up. At this point, bottom hand, index finger down, release the top hand, and see if you can extend it to the side. Okay, you can place the hand back down, come back down. Okay, so push out, push down, feel yourself, because you'll be able to check your form. And if you haven't got it, do it again, do it again, do it again. I know people say about mirrors, but I find it really difficult to try and look in the mirror whilst doing a move, because I tend to move myself out of the technique and the position I need. So film yourself, and you'll start to understand how it feels. Does that make sense? And what position you need to get into um, feeling it. So push out, push up, butt up, hip in line with the knees, Take the top hand off, keep strong in that bottom arm. That arm should cover the ear. Remember that straight line, wrist to hip, and you're, you're beyond for a winner. That's gonna help you so much to progress into the higher levels, okay? Let me know if you've got any questions with that, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.